Joining me now from Southern California, President of San Diego Young Republicans, Lauren Casuto. Uh, Lauren, I, I make no bones about it on this program. I think that uh, Kevin McCarthy is a weak leader. His Liberty score on Conservative View proves uh, my point. At 32%, he's got an F rating. That said, who do you look to be your, your role model in the modern Democrat, I'm sorry, the modern <laughs> Republican Party these days? I think we already have some uh, modern Democrat leadership. And yes, that scares we do. me just a little bit. Uh, speaking personally, some of my favorite Republicans, people I admire greatly, Nikki Haley, uh, Tim Scott out of South Carolina, Jim Jeffords out of Ohio, I think you do have this great young group of leaders, young in relative terms, who bring the fire of someone like Donald Trump while being able to run effectively and manage effectively, and that's what you're going to need more and more as we get involved with the uh, going into the future. And you, uh, you know, your job as, as uh, the leader of the Young Republicans in San Diego County is to recruit, obviously, new members to the Republican Party, young ones, absolutely, uh, especially. But you, uh, when you were younger, were a Democrat. So what happened? <laughs> Yes, uh, I was at uh, UC Irvine, and a lot of the stuff you're seeing now with the squad, for example, it started on college campuses. Right. You saw all that happening. So when I was a Democrat, uh, and I was a member of the Young Democrats, I was, I'd probably lean more on the Joe Lieberman side of things, and it was that I was very supportive of the military, I supported the war in Iraq, uh, and I believe strongly in law enforcement, and all those things were just adamantly hated in the Young Democrats at the time, so I got chased out. And I don't mean I was asked politely to leave, I mean pretty much pitchforks and torches at mm. that point. And, uh, you know, it's a pity, it was a carbon crime at the time for them to light those torches, but, uh, you know, it led me to where I was supposed to be, which is the, uh, the Republican Party, right. and been a member ever since. Uh, the party left you, in a sense, the Democrat Party did. And, Absolutely. And this is supposedly the party of tolerance, uh, by the way. The California Republican Party, I was out at their convention last week in the desert, and it appeared to me that the California Republican Party is kind of wandering in the desert, philosophically speaking, that there is leadership, but there isn't leadership. And that it's dying for uh, the next reincarnation of, of Ronald Reagan. It's almost rudderless right now. Do you get that feeling? Do you share that feeling about the Republican Party in California? I think California is sort of an interesting situation. Again, don't forget that this is, this is the cornerstone of the quote-unquote resistance nowadays, which makes it difficult. You've had a mass uh, middle-class exodus from California. People of my age who can't afford to you know, buy a home, it's almost impossible to get a job, you can't start a business. They've all migrated to places like Nevada and Texas and Arizona and Tennessee, which makes it difficult. I know we are always looking for the next Ronald Reagan. In this day and age where they're banning everything under the sun, where uh, the homeless crisis is what it is. I don't think a Ronald Reagan could even win. What do we need in the Republican Party? I'm not sure here in California. I do know it's going to have to be a different Republican Party than one you'd get in Texas, for example. What about leaders, uh, Lauren, who can come on television like you are and espouse not just what it means to be a Republican, but what it means to be a constitutionalist, someone who embraces the founding document and explains. And I think this is part of the issue in California. You have to be an evangelist, right? You have to be an evangelist for what you stand for. You can't just say, hey, I'm a Republican. I'm a Republican because I believe in these founding principles of the United States Constitution. Come with me. Come celebrate the Constitution. Don't you think that's a winning message? I happen to agree. Republicans need to have certain set principles, but at the same time, don't forget also that the Republican Party is to some degree a tent. While you do have a guy like Kevin McCarthy or a guy previously like John McCain, it's still the same tent that'll handle someone like those two and someone like Ted Cruz. Don't forget, I got booted out of the Democrat Party because I wasn't as strong of an orthodox. And nowadays in the Democrat Party, if you're slightly to the right of Hillary Clinton, you know, you get chased out again right. with the pitchforks and torches. Right. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.